Holly <laughs> Willoughby has quit her role presenting on ITV's This Morning. Holly spent 14 years fronting the show alongside former co-presenter Philip Schofield. She posted a statement on Instagram yesterday saying it's been an honour, but she's decided to leave the role for herself and her family. Hannah Hope is the son of Sunday's Bazaar editor. Hannah, um, welcome uh, to talk today. How are you? Hi. Good, thank you. Um, this is a story that is uh, garnering huge interest online and across the United mm. Kingdom and possibly further afield, if only to Portugal. Uh, 14 years is a long time by anybody's standards <laughs> to be on an ITV television programme. That just struck me why it was funny. Um, what is the truth behind this? Because we know, <clears throat> and we have to be very straight and direct, many stories in the press last week about uh, a gentleman who's now in custody, can't go into the details, uh, plots, etc., etc. Is that the reason that Holly Willoughby has walked away? Because everybody would understand a mum of three, a wife, you don't need that rubbish in your life. Mm. But there's there's other people who would say overnight and have started to write it online, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. Would that be fair? Absolutely. On the face of it, Holly has suffered a week from hell, I mean, yeah. not even a week from hell, when she was informed of this plot uh, that was going on behind the scenes. And for the safety of her family, you would understand, you know, albeit you would step away from it. But really, like you say, this is the final straw, the straw that broke the camel's back. It is the Annis Horribilis of this morning, mm. from Skewgate, which was a little over a year ago, to the slow unravelling of her uh, online, uh, her TV partnership with Philip Schofield and the barrage of stories that came out about what was going on behind the scenes, his affair with a runner, him actually stepping away from the show, leaving ITV altogether. Holly was left carrying the baby and the amount of scrutiny that she's been under. So probably she's just thought, do you know what? Now feels like as good a time as any mm. to step away. This is the opportune moment. And who could blame her? And lots of people will be speculating as to all the different reasons. And there's a kind of, I think there's a sense mm. of smugness from people online going, I knew this was going to happen. I knew she'd quit. Well, well done you. So what? You, you can read Holly's mind. Like, I don't understand why people feel like they're, they should give themselves a pat on the back for predicting that this would happen. At the end of the day, what happened with Philip Schofield was Philip Schofield's doing. Um, and no matter what people think of Holly Willoughby, what happened there with the affair, with what happened, you know, with the wider implications of it, she had to carry on doing her job. And I would hate for a woman as is so often the case, to continually be blamed and have to face the, the bear the brunt of what decisions Could have left a at the man same time, though. Let's made. be honest, we're making it about a why woman would, again. Why would she, she need to no, leave? No, but if she felt that she couldn't carry the can, we're not criticising Holly Willoughby in any way. I don't think anybody, male or female or anybody, wants that with their family. No. I think, I think the wider issue, and, and where I absolutely agree with you, is Schofield went. There has been a toxicity, I can't say that word, is that right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> About that programme. And what happens is that just gathers strength, doesn't it? You know, Schofield Q Qgate was the beginning of it. Let me tell you, Qgate was the beginning of it. And that was a uh, whatever your opinion's about. And it's just got stronger and stronger and stronger. I sort of, if I was, I don't know about you, Nick, I'm sure I could, I wouldn't speak for you, but if anybody was Please. threatening you know, my family, in effect, then no job's worth that, right? No, absolutely not. And can I just speak to not my... Not at all. And I can only speak from my experience on this morning. I've yep. been a contributor there um, for nearly three years. And what I witnessed there was a lovely family environment. I can't speak to what was going on with two presenters because so often the presenters of a show are not party to whatever Is else the barrister is talking to you during <laughs> are, they, are they talking to you during that investigation into the whole program is that are they speaking to you no People because like you I, I would just i would just come in and out and do my 15 minutes and yeah. that was it so again i was not there i was not mm. in the office environment mm. however i just think so often we use women who are at the forefront of programs to be scapegoated instead of looking at I the think she's picture. best out of it mate don't you well i think that you've You've pointed out something quite important. There is an outside investigation going on with a barrister uh, looking into the toxicity behind the show at this morning, which shows how serious it all was even before this kidnap uh, kidnapping plan came to light. Yeah. So I think Holly probably is going to step away. She's made lots of money from the show. Her career is at high. She still has Dancing on Ice, remember. Uh, when Kevin Ligo, the head of ITV, uh, gave a statement yesterday, he did imply that she would be returning for other projects. So I don't think she's... They did say that about Philip, though, didn't they? But then the, then the <coughs> huge revelation about Philip came yeah. out where, you they know, tend he admitted... To, they, can I just say this? They tend to say that. 
Right. They do tend to say there'll be other projects. <laughs> I, I would say fair play to her for her family. I would say 14 years is long enough. She'll undoubtedly be back. Let's not forget her husband, Dan Baldwin, owns Hungry Bear. They make loads of programmes. She did that series with Wim... What's that bloke called? Wim Hof. That was brilliant on the BBC. She done stuff with Bradley Walsh. The BBC have long coveted Holly Willoughby, and I suspect, without knowing, that, that this might be the moment that she steps and takes choice and doesn't want to do it every day a week. Fair play to her. Yeah, all. fair play. And also, they've got incredible presenters on that programme. I know there's going to be... Will it survive? Uh, well, I think it will. And good luck to, you know, Dermot and Alison and everyone else at the show because they are... They hold the... the she the still wants magic. to be on it. Hannah Hope, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>